How you doing folks? Just a bit of a short video we're going to do today. Um, myself and my, my small girl here, um, we're out and we're picking white horn berries. We have a good few of them picked. That's them there. Right? That's them there. We have a good few more picked there. Um, and we're going to plant them. I'm going to show you what my grandfather, on this way, Maeve, what my grandfather showed me what to do. Um, they're just growing on the side of the road here. And I also have some rose hips and I have some mountain ash berries as well, which I will show you now one second when we get to mountain ash tree. But yeah, that's more of them there. Look, you can see the the red berries on the trees and I show you now what to do. Okay guys, that's a mountain ash tree and I'm after getting a shot of their berries too. That's the berries. Look at the, you know the leaves. Mountain ash. And we have the mountain ash berries. We leave the rest there for the birds. We're after getting some of their berries as well. Okay guys, we're here. We have some rose hips here. They're not rose hips. They're roses. They're, they're the leftovers of the roses after they flower. Like, like his cousins. Yeah. And then we have some mountain ash here, and we have some white horn here. Now, these are the rose hips. Now, under that, I have some grass, just some cuttings off the lawn. Simple. And then we have a small bit of compost, and we're going to lay out that like that. Now, the whole reason for this video is to tell people, next Sunday, the 25th of September, is um, threshing for cancer in Beaufort with Brendan Ferris. Now this is going to be a short little just video where we're doing this in the yard and um, it's going to be what I'm going to do about half eleven next Sunday morning I'm going to do a live a little bit of a live video um, with Brendan Ferris um, that's right throw him in there somewhere and a um, little bit of a live video just a quick walk around maybe for 20 minutes or a half an hour that's the plan anyway and um, so anyone that wants to tune in, tune in. And I'm hoping I'm going to have stickers there. Not from me, but stickers from the show. And hopefully I will be able to post them out to maybe the first 10 people that leave a comment on the live video or something like that. Um, okay, what we're going to do here now, the, by rights what you should do with these, this is my father, my grandfather who taught me how to do this. Um, what you should do by rights, to see the grass underneath, which you can see it there as well. The grass will rot down. And it'll get hot and it'll create like an oven effect um, to give them a chance to grow and then you have the compost on top and but you kind of should fool them by rights what you should do is get them and freeze them put them into the freezer for a couple of weeks and then plant them in the very very early spring but when you put them into the freezer you kind of fool them into thinking that after surviving the winter without a bird eating them and then they'll grow so maybe put them into a cool, dark place in the bucket. I'm going to get this a bit of compost here now and I'm going to cover them. So I'm just going to put down the, the phone for one minute. So Okay, that's kind of it. We're going to level off this. What do you reckon, Maeve? Job yeah. done. And we're going to level off all that one there. You level off that one. And hopefully next spring we will have nice little shoots. Um, these are going to grow and we're going to put them away and but now like I said um, what should be done and what if you can do and you can do it this time of the year get out there pick the berries pick your rose hips pick your white horn pick your all that kind of stuff pick your rose hips white horn um, what else do we have Maeve with rose hips or oh, with mountain ash mountain and we they're rose hips mountain ash and with white horn and I presume you could pick anything elders and anything with a berry on it. But what they do recommend is you freeze it. Yeah. You put it into the freezer this time of the year. And it goes into the freezer and you can actually fool it into thinking it survived the winter. But don't put uh, it into a food freezer. Don't put it into the food freezer, no. Your mommy will kill us. Put it into an uh, outside freezer. Yeah, if an outside freezer or something like that. Bag them, put them into plastic bags, seal them up, air dry them, whatever. And um, then take them out and plant them in the spring. But I'm going to take a chance. My grandfather used to do this. He'd put in the grass and the grass cuttings or the grass will rot. When the grass is rotting, it'll create heat. 
and hopefully they'll grow from it so that's kind of it so that's it the whole thing of this video was to tell you to next sunday morning the 25th of september i'm going to do a live video around half 11 i'm going to do a live video about half 11 behind in brendan ferris's and um my phone is all dirty the camera's dirty i'm going to do a live video about half 11 behind in brendan ferris's and um yeah that's it who knows be there be the Massey Ferguson day out, 175th birthday. We'll tell all the story of how Massey started the company. And Massey actually started the company in Canada 175 years ago this year. And what he started doing was clearing forestry to make farmland. All right, that's it. That's my planting of rose hips, mountain ash, and what else we plant? Rose hips, mountain ash, oh, and white thorn. Okay. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye now.